If you look at classical writers who understand, who give a definition of epistemology, of what is knowledge, they would say that knowledge is tasawwuru shayfi dhihn, to conceptualize something in your mind. Okay? That is the epistemic framework of how do we know. So it's conceptual understanding of, what, what, of knowing. The definition that is provided within the madrasa tradition is basically what I would call a senecdoche. In other words, the part to identify the whole that when you have knowledge, your goal, your end product is to have knowledge of the Quran and Sunnah for this kind of knowledge engagement, for this kind of knowledge project, to understand God's commandments uh, and instructions of how one lives as a conscientious believer. But does that definition of what is ilm, does that narrow down the whole intellectual project? For those individuals who end up uh, coming to the madrasa system, um, that is precisely what they come for. Um, they sort of want an in-depth study of um, you know, the grammar, the syntax, the exegesis of the Qur'an, the hadith, and so on and so forth, and which is what I ended up accomplishing. But, and of course, because we were in a system, it was the norm for us to accept where we were. Uh, which was sort of very well accepted and we made it through sort of that system and, and graduated and there's a formal ceremony. Um, but upon coming back home, this is home for me, the United States, California, um, you know, we sort of started to, amongst ourselves, we, we as students and graduates uh, and colleagues uh, who were graduates of this system started to analyze uh, somewhat critically our own tradition 